What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Have was Oracle card reading. Oracle card reading for Taurus for mid June of 2022. Just can resonate if you have force any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter, Charge. Stuff in the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general Oracle card reading for mid June of 2022. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,030 subscribers so, um, so far. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama and one of her businesses so thanks so much love and appreciate it okay you guys we're gonna get started um i'm trying to do these a little early than mid-june um than june 15th um so because i get a lot of futuristic channelings recently so i like to get them out um so you know you can get them before they resonate that's the goal here um but you um you plug it in how it resonates okay so I already received a couple for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus any aspects of your charts. Um, I would also encourage you to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node um, placements as well to get message or messages um, that resonate with you. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so the first channeling I heard was a Taurus and a Libra are secretly um, hiding a relationship of the past. They do this by uh, fighting with each other and acting like they don't like each other in public. However, through many series of chain of events, it's about to blow up in their face because their ass is about to be exposed and I did hear ass. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It's a Taurus and Libra and energy. Heard for someone's in a 3D workspace situation. I heard they're going to be exposed for knowing each other in the past, and they lied. That was that one. And um, the other one, I heard it was in a community dynamic. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of Taurus and Libra and energy. They could have Taurus or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they've been hit by Jupiter charts. It's at least two situations, but they know each other from the past, but they're not telling people that they know each other from the past. Very, very, very sexual connection. Very. And stole money from a Libra's family member. Very, very, very sexual connection and stole money from the Libra's family member. Well, can't get any more shyster than that. Some are part of a secret society, and that's about to be exposed, too. Some are part of a secret society, and that's about to be exposed, too. So, Taurus and Libra energy. Um, it's at least two situations. One, it's in a workspace. I heard in the workspace, they act like they hate each other, and this sounds like they fight a lot. They hate each other. Um, they just, it's, it seems like they truly do hate each other, but in reality, they, they don't. They don't. It's a sexual relationship. It sounds like behind the scenes or previous. But I heard this is about to be exposed too, soon. Uh, it's about to blow up in their face in the workplace situation. Um, through many series of chain of events. Um, they're, they're strategically hiding their current sexual connection or previous sexual connection. But they're doing it, I think, to keep their jobs. Is what I'm thinking. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Because think about it, they really, really, really hated each other, truly hated each other. One of them would be trying to get the other one fired. And that's the truth. But yet, they both still have their jobs. So, we have to think about it logically. You plug it in, how it resonates. I'm, I'm serious. I'm for real. People are shy to like that. Trust me, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in the universe. Four. And all four of those, I went in in situations where I didn't know people. I didn't even know those people, and those people couldn't stay in my ass. These people secretly know each other behind the scenes, acting like they hate each other, like drama fest, drama energy for the crowd, for the co-workers, but nothing's really happening behind the scenes as far as trying to get the other one fired because they truly do like each other. They bang it behind the sheets. 
bang it behind the scenes or did bang it behind the sheets or behind the scenes. So they're secretly not trying to get the other one fired because they truly do want each other there. It's kind of like picking on each other on a playground as a child. Someone is getting such a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting such a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. Trust me. Like I said, I've went into workplace situations four times, been wrongfully terminated four times. All new people, people I didn't know. And yet I get wrongfully terminated. I had a badge ripped off my body by a boss before at a jail. I didn't deserve that. I didn't know that lady, except for workplace. These two really do know each other. That's in the workplace situation. But I heard through many series of changes is about to be exposed. One of these people will end up being terminated soon. Some kind of evidence in the universe coming very soon. One of these people in the workplace situations would end up being terminated soon. Um, some kind of evidence sounds like popping up in the universe soon. Um, the Taurus or the Libra. So I think evidence of the current sexual relationship or previous sexual relationship or maybe poor work performance or criminal activities or something, something, something. You plug in how it resonates. The other one, because that's situation two. Situation one it's a Taurus and a Libra in a community setting. Same situation, though. They act like they can't stand each other, act like they don't know each other outside this community setting. I feel it could be like ball team energy or community activism or um, community groups or some kind of community public setting where they congregate together and do similar activity or activities. They act like they hate each other there, too. But behind the scenes, they're banging it behind the sheets or did bang it behind the sheets or they have a secret connection behind the scenes. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this one too. Someone's about to find text messages and one of these people is going to get unexpected phone call and it's going to blow everything. Their relationship, their true relationship. Okay, several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with that one, too. Um, uh, some kind of phone call energy that's about to blow everything. It sounds like going to blow and expose their relationship outside this community activity or me meeting spot or group or ball team or what have you or what have you. I don't know. Um, it sounds like it's about to blow it all to hell. And one of these people are about to end up, they're end up, about to end up getting not wrongfully terminated. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, Taurus. Um, you've got heavy Libra energy. I'll tell you that. I mean, all your channel messages are focusing on a Libra. So you plug it in, how it resonates. A teenage, sick, very, very, very ill teenage child is about to become very significant in one of these people's lives. A very, very ill teenage child is about to become very significant in one of these people's lives. So one of these people I feel has a teenage child or they're connected to a teenage child, the Taurus or the Libra. And the very, very ill teenage child is about to become very significant in one of these people's lives, a Taurus or the Libra. You plug it in how it resonates. Through many series of chain of events, a license will be revoked. Torn energy. Unethical. A fire sign is about to have a lot to do with this. Know this. Through many series of chain of events, a license is about to be revoked. Unethical. A uh, fire sign is about to have a lot to do with this. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. I'm just channeling. We're nine minutes and 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds in. I'm just channeling for you, Taurus. Uh, I've got a lot of low vibrational forest activity in here. I'll tell you that. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, you guys. Are you high vibrational? Are you low vibrational? If you're if you're not these people or these situations, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do, okay? 
only know your story, not anybody else, okay? But um, you might know these people. I mean, so you have to plug, excuse me, plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Do you, are you these people? Are you a low vibrational? Are you high vibrational? Do you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, and ethics, and integrity, or do you not? Like these crazies. Um, but somebody's license is about to be revoked up in here. I think in the workplace situation, I heard unethical behavior. Um, so, and a fire sign is about to have a lot to do with it. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and there's some rising Venus, North Dame, and Hammer, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have to For sign, Taurus. A cancer is about to report one of these people soon. Uh, the Libra. Know this, Taurus. A very significant report. It's about to implicate this person in a huge way. And through many series of chain events, you will be implicated too. This cancer is in deep regret of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. I heard, um, okay, so I'm channeling this very low vibrational Taurus and Libra. Uh, so I think the low vibrational Taurus and Libra watches my channel. So there you go, low vibrational Taurus and Libra. It's all about you for 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Hope you enjoy your low vibrational activity uh, and behavior, just saying, because you're getting blasted all publicly on a public platform. Just saying, just saying. Hope it was worth it. Um, but anyway, so, um, I heard a cancer is in very, very, very deep regret. It can be masculine or feminine cancer. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hammer, Jupiter charts. It sounds like they're a reformed cancer. It sounds like they're high vibrational now, or they're becoming high vibrational. Confirmation from my fat boy, by the way. Come on, baby. Come on. Um, but how that resonates, I heard this cancer is about to make a very, very, very significant report on this Libra. You are heavily connected to this Libra. You just don't want the public to know you are. And I'm speaking for real, for real. Whether it's the community community activity or group setting or ball team or community works or activism or what have you or what have you or the workspace situation. For some of these situations, I feel you guys could do them both together and you just behind the scenes bang it or did bang it. But you really act like you hate each other in the 3D in the public. Man, that, that's not correct, man. That is not correct. Um, I, I heard a secret society, is about to see, secret society is about to be exposed, too. So I think you two are part of the secret society. There's a reason you're acting like you hate each other in public and like you don't know each other in public. Like there was no previous connections than the workspace or the communal um, space. But you did. So I think these two are part of that secret society that's about to be exposed. And I think this cancer is about to have a lot to do with it. I heard the cancer's in serious regret of the past. And they're about to make a very, very, very serious report on the Libra. Um, it's about to be life-changing. Know this. It's about to be life-changing. Know this. So it's some kind of very serious life-changing report on this Libra. I think it's about to uh, affect this Libra's career. Um, secret society energy secrets. And I think it's about to um, affect the Libra in a negative way. Masculine or feminine Libra. And I'm just being for real. We have wolf and skull. This cancer is about to do it quickly. They know time is of the essence. This cancer is about to do it quickly. They know time is of the essence. So you plug it in how it resonates. I don't, you know, listen, man. I don't get involved in shisty ass shit. And that's just the truth. I don't. So, um, I say my damn self for a reason, um, and this is why. People in freaking secret societies acting like they don't know each other in public, in the community space, in the workspace, but really they do. Because honestly, if they, knew, if, like I told y'all my experience with the four wrong fraternations going into situations where I didn't even know those damn people and those people were attacking my ass. If they're constantly fighting in a workspace, which it sounds like they are, like constantly nagging and just putting it on for these people in the workspace. Like, they just hate each other and bless it, bless it, bless it. They're doing it for a reason. Because really, behind the scenes, they're not going to the manager, boss, CEO, or calling the corporate compliance hotline, if there is one. 
and complaining on this person, which if you truly wanted this person out, that's what you would do. But it's not happening here. But yet they're just dominating up in front of all their coworkers, trying to make the coworkers in middle prison and think one way when it's really another way. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur. One of these co-workers is about to really wake up. They're about to have a very important conversation with a very important person very soon. Several shocking series of chain events are uh, about to occur in this workspace. And I heard um, one of the co-workers of these two putting on a show, people, basically. Um... They're about to have a very important conversation, I heard, with a very important person, I think, in their company or works, uh, work site or work unit or what have you. And I heard um, it's about to be a very important conversation. Um, so, and it's going to, I feel, negatively affect them, create series of chain events for them. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. Now, honestly, it serves their ass right. HIV is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. HIV is about to become very significant in Taurus's life, so you plug it in how it resonates. Now, you know, that could be you contracting HIV or somebody you're connected to contracting HIV or you've already contracted HIV or somebody you're connected to already has. So only you know your story and situation, Taurus. You have to plug it in how it resonates, some kind of HIV energy, whether you've contracted it, somebody else has contracted it, or you're about to contract it, or somebody else is about to contract it. Could be these two crazies up here. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages. Okay. You some you could be dealing with the air sign or fire sign. If you are, they could have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, Jupiter, Charts, if you are. And, you know, I heard in here, um, these two crazies up here, they're dealing with fire sign. Fire sign's about to make the revocation of some kind of licensure occur for one of these people. Um, and um, we've got Libra and Energy heavy in here, and Taurus is reading, so. Okay, so we have swan, hyena, wolf, skull, wheel, and indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly, horseshoe, good luck. A missed delivery is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. Drug smuggling, drug trafficking. A missed delivery at a hospital. For some, a uh, behavioral health facility. The whole scheme is about to be blown open through this and other series of chain of events. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A missed delivery at a uh, hospital and a behavioral health unit is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Here I see the outside Taurus. Um, it's about to help reveal, um, drug smuggling and drug trafficking. Um, and it's about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Now you could be the, I feel you could be a warehouse driver, like a driver to the warehouse or the, um, not the warehouse, um, driver to the, um, uh, hospital or the behavioral health unit. I feel you're a driver. Maybe you're, um, you're a driver for somebody. Um, I feel maybe a pharmaceutical driver. You might be a pharmaceutical driver. Um, cause there's a reason, a way you're smuggling these drugs. I think you might work for a pharmacy is what I think. That's exactly what I think. I think you might work for a pharmacy for some, for some you could work for any other kind of delivery service, but there's a reason you're making stops to a, um, hospital and a behavioral health unit. I think you work at a pharmacy. Is, um, for a pharmacy is exactly what I think for us. But I heard it's about to become very significant. The missed, um, some kind of missed deliveries of a hospital and a 
missed deliveries of a hospital and a behavioral health unit, i.e. the drug smuggling and the drug trafficking, um, somehow these missed deliveries are about to reveal this drug trafficking and uh, or help reveal the drug trafficking and the drug smuggling. And I think you're part of it. And I think you might be a driver for a pharmacy. This is exactly what I think. Or a driver of any other whatever, whatever. But it's a help, about to help reveal it with other series of chain of events are about to reveal this drug smuggling and drug uh, trafficking. Um, and specifically, we're pulling in a hospital and a behavioral health unit, but I have been pulling in uh, a hospital, a behavioral health unit, and a skilled nursing facility and a warehouse. So you plug it in how it resonates. That could be where the sudden wealth is coming from, but it's about to end soon. In one of these situations, the plan is about to be blown all to hell. Blown all to hell. In one of these situations, the plan is about to be blown all to hell, blown all to hell. So, yeah, it's about to be sudden wealth reverse. Somebody's about to pick up on this. I feel maybe police or feds or citizens are about to pick up on this. Hell, I'm a psychic on here delivering the messages, so hopefully it's somebody that watches my channel. Do you plug it in how it resonates? Swan. A particular high vibrational water sign is really, really, really blossoming into their own now. Know this. You were really hoping this person did not, but they are. I'm picking up a lot of low vibrational porn energy. And I'm just being for real. Whoever you are, you, I mean, you obviously don't wish well on this, uh, not fire sign, this confirmation again, on this water sign. They can be masculine or feel water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter, Charles. But it sounds like they went out on their own. Maybe they were ugly duckling, and they just kind of ventured out on their own, and then they became a swan. They just blossomed into their own um, is what I'm feeling for some of them. Um, I feel they were codependent one time, and they might have been codependent on you for some or codependent on somebody else, but they really blossoming into their own and doing their own thing, and they, I feel they've turned into a damn swan. But you don't like it. So if that message resonates for you, Taurus, you're low vibrational. And I'm just being for real. They're in the swan energy right now. This Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine or femme. I heard you don't like it. Well, you know, the thing is, is we should all be happy for each other. We should all be happy for each other. We should grow and develop and love ourselves and focus on ourselves and quit trying to drug traffic, drug smuggle, act like we don't know people in public. And secretly, we're banging them behind the sheets or dig bang them behind the sheets. I mean, what the hell, man? If you're going to bang somebody, bang them and do it. Well, not publicly, but don't lie about it. Just saying, just saying. Hyena. A tourist that lives in a home that they never paid for through many series of chain of events, they're about to have to give it up. A huge thief. In one of these situations, another Taurus is about to create a series of chain of events to make this happen. High vibrational Taurus. It is a fire sign feminine's home. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, hell you're not i hope prison is included in that too because hell it's not even your freaking home low vibrational tourist um you don't deserve to live there i heard it's a fire sign fence home it's not even your freaking home man like what gives you the right or the audacity to think that you can that you should live there because you shouldn't and that's just the damn truth um, I heard another high vibrational Taurus is about, about to create a series of chain events to make this happen. So basically, you're about to be homeless person, uh, whether you're masculine or feminine. But in all fairness, you deserve it because it don't even sound like you paid rent or mortgage on this. It sounds like this home's paid off. Sounds like it's paid off. Um, 
is what it sounds like. But you don't, it's not even yours. I mean, hell, it's this fire sign fems, this hyena energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And, you know, hyenas, I think they're pissed. I think this fire sign fem is pissed. And I think this high vibrational force is coming off as the hyena energy. And they're pissed. I think, I would hope anybody would be pissed if somebody took somebody's home behind the bag, their back. And is living there and freaking rent free and mortgage a mortgage free. Like who are you? Just saying, just saying. Lupus is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Lupus is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. And a pale grant. And a pale grant. So lupus is a disease for anybody who doesn't know. It is a um it's a disease, um, a medical disease. Pretty sure it's autoimmune disease, but let me look it up, okay? And confirm. It's been a while. I used to know all the diseases and the etiology and all that, but it's been a while since I've been in nursing school. Since 2011, 2013, so it's been a minute. So let me look up lupus and we'll find out together. But lupus is about to become very significant in one of you guys' life and a pill grant. So I think one of you guys is about to apply for a pill grant um, or somebody you're connected to is or you're about to help somebody apply for a pill grant. Anybody doesn't know, a pill grant is federal aid for education. Um, I got a pill grant for some of my years of um, when I went for my basics before I started nursing school when I lived in Texas, when I was married to my ex-husband. So. Um, you have to maintain a certain GPA and um, to, in order to receive your money. If not, you have to pay it back and blase, blase, blase. So some kind of Pell Grant energy, whether you're applying for this or you're helping somebody apply for it or somebody you're connected to is in lupus. Let me look up lupus. Systemic lupus. Arithmetosis. An inflammatory disease caused when the immune system attacks its own tissues. Yeah, autoimmune disease. Okay. Um, lupus, systemic lupus arithmetosis can affect the joint, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. So it's an autoimmune disease. Up. So I was right. It's autoimmune disease, but it's about to become very significant. One of you guys' life, you could have lupus or somebody you're connected to could, or you could be diagnosed with lupus or somebody you're connected to could be diagnosed with lupus. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. However, that resonates in one's life. A workplace poisoning is about to become very significant in Taurus's life as well. You're not the poisoner. Oh, my Lord. I've been pulling this in in several signs, too. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, some kind of um, workplace poisoning. Um, somebody has been poisoning somebody in a workplace through potlucks. That's what I've been picking up. I heard it specifically not you if this message applies for you. It's not you, but I feel it might be one of your co-workers or it might be somebody you're connected to, co-workers or workspace. But some kind of workplace poisoning. For some, you could be somebody about to do an investigation on this workplace poisoning. Um, it's pretty cray-cray, man. Somebody, they need to go to freaking jail. Um, and I, I, I mean, that's attempted murder for anybody who doesn't know. To try to poison somebody through food or any way is attempted murder for anybody who doesn't know that. Just saying. Wolf. Hold on. Someone's about to find very significant group chat, and text messages of the Secret Seven. They're about to send them to federal agents. Know this. One, you are a Taurus about to find these. One, you are a Taurus that was involved. Core member. 
For some, it's a Taurus about to find these. For some, it is somebody else, another sign. Another sign. It's about to make things start moving very, very, very fast. Know this. Holy snap, man. This is, ooh, this is juicy. So you plug in how it resonates. So we've got a Taurus about to find group chat messages. I heard of the Secret 7. So I think they're actually saying Secret 7 in the group chat. Or they're saying the wolf pack because we have the wolf card. They're either calling themselves the wolf, wolf pack or the wolf pukes or the wolf pucks. I'm sure they're not calling themselves the wolf pukes or the wolf pups, but y'all know I call them the wolf pukes and the wolf pups all the damn time because um, they deserve it. Um, they probably say like S7 or Secret 7. They probably steal my shit, to be honest. Um, or they say wolf pack or their names. Hell, I don't know. I, I don't know. But however that resonates, one of you Taurus is about to find you. One of you Taurus is about to find group chat or text messages or something, some kind of evidence um of this on somebody's phone I, it's obviously not yours it's you're about to find it somehow i think it's on somebody else's phone that's the soul energy too i heard you're about to send them to federal agent and for one somebody else is about to find secret seven text or um group chat or something and it's not a tourist so it's at least two of you guys about to find group chats or text messages or emails or something regarding the secret seven and send them uh, to federal agents i heard it's going to start moving fast so the secret seven situation is going to start moving fast for federal agents i think once they obtain this evidence but one of you Taurus is about to find it i think on somebody else's device well, whether it's a computer an ipad a, um, um, a phone maybe you're going to find the evidence and screenshot it and send it to yourself to send it to your email or your phone that's what i would do um how that resonates wow man secrets about the wolf pack the wolf pukes the wolf pups the secret seven wow you you okay for some it could be an air sign and a, a fire sign involved in this uh, secret seven for some it could be somebody else hell i don't know i just pull in the energy of the secret seven i i don't this shit's just crazy and it's just the truth Skull. A very ill, older Leo. Younger Leo, feminines, are about to become very significant in somebody's life. Severe drug users, severe. Unfit parents, about to be huge changes here. and older leo masculine okay so older and younger leo femme and leo masculine we have older leo masculine and older and younger leo feminine drug users basically a lot of drug users in here um leos um you're pulling in heavy leo drug user energy so older in the tro, I deem as 35 or above. So they can be 35 or above Leo feminine or 35 or below Leo feminine drug users. I heard they're drug users. So whatever they, I don't know if they've used prescription um, opioids or narcotics or shoot up heroin or snort up coke or meth or what have you. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not a drug user. But one of you guys is very heavily connected to Leo drug users, whether they're masculine or older or fem uh, younger. Um, I heard um, there's about to be many uh, soon upcoming in the universe. There's about the custody changes here because they basically are unfit parents because they're choosing drugs over their child or children. So how about that resonates? It's an older Leo masculine, 35 or above Leo masculine, 35 or above Leo feminine, 35 or below Leo femme. Um, that could be the secrets. They're about to come out. 
you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you taurus um i feel one of you guys is heavily connected to a lot of leo drug users um that have child or children and i'm just being for real a taurus father taurus's father is about to give them some advice It'd be wise to take it. Okay, I heard a Taurus's father is about to give them some wise advice. It'd be wise to take it. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that could be the good luck energy. Um, the, the, whatever advice this father energy is giving you, Taurus, if this message applies for you, heard it's very good advice. It'd be smart to take it. Um, I feel for some of you might be stubborn because um, you have an indecisiveness. So I think once you get this wonderful advice from your father i feel like it could be a biological father a foster father or somebody you call a father figure but how that resonates i don't think you're going to want to take it because you have the indecisiveness card allowing your life to ramble aimlessly but it is good luck so i heard it be smart to take it of course you can listen to spiritual downloads or not you plug it in how it resonates it doesn't sound like they've given you the advice yet but it sounds like it's upcoming A Capricorn is about to go behind the scenes very soon and deliver very important information, some to a very important person in a company, some to federal agents. It's going to implicate you, low, low vibrational Taurus. Some you're an informant. Some you are a drug smuggler. Some you were involved with Secret 7. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So Capricorn energy strong. If this resonates for you, there's at least three low vibrational forces in here. Some you're an informant. Some you are um, involved, like core member of the Secret 7 energy. And some you are um, a drug smuggler and involved in drug trafficking. And whoever that's for, I strongly feel you work for a pharmacy company, pharmaceutical company. And you're a driver for a pharmaceutical company. And I'm just being for real. For at least one of you. For one, you could work in a hospital. Or you could work in a behavioral health unit. Or you could work in a long-term care facility. But one of you guys, I feel, is a driver for a pharmaceutical company. And I'm just being for real. But however that resonates, there's Capricorn energy strong in here too. So you have Leo energy strong, Libra energy strong, and Caps energy strong. Um, this Capricorn, I heard, is about to go behind the scenes and speak to a very important person in a company soon. Um, um, regarding you, regarding you, and I heard it's not going to go well for you. Um, so they're about to deliver very important information. I think they're about to find out um, you're an informant, you, or that you're a drug smuggler, and you in, are involved in drug trafficking, or... Um, or something of that of that nature. That's exactly what I think. Or an informant. Or an informant. Or you were involved in a secret seven. Yeah, however that resonates. Wow, man. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. A fiance is about to find out about a sexual relationship with an air sign. Know this. They're about to break things off. Oh, my Lord. A fiance is about to find out about a sexual relationship with an air sign. I heard they're about to break things off. Water sign energy. Water sign energy. So some one of you guys has a water sign um, fiance. I feel it can be masculine or him water sign. Um, I feel they're high vibrational, whoever this water sign is. It could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It could be this person that turned into a swan, possibly. Um, but however that resonates, um, you, it sounds like you have a third party sneaky link situation with the air sign. And for some, I strongly feel it's this Libra that you're hiding so strategically from people. And you have people in your workplace node and your community node. But it's about to backfire on your ass. And I'm just being for real. Taurus. 
But however that resonates, um, at least one of you guys, whether you connect with this these messages or not, you have a water sign, fiance, masculine or feminine, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heard the water, um, not, I'm sorry, not a water sign, them, a water sign, water sign, fiance. So water sign, fiance, masculine or feminine. They're about to find out about this air sign, third party, sneaky link situationship. And I heard they're about to break it off with you. Well, that's your fault and your karma because you shouldn't have put this poor water sign in a damn third party. And that's just the truth. So indecisive, indecisiveness, allowing your life to amble ramblessly. I think uh, ramble aimlessly. I think it's because you're going to be blindsided when the water sign breaks it off with you. But they should. I would, because you've been holding secrets. A Taurus secretary is about to make a very important phone call to a compliance hotline soon. They realize their workplace is up in shambles, even worse than it was before. They know some very important information and they're about to deliver it. Wow, that's a good one. So a Taurus secretary, so you're a secretary Taurus. You could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here in Jupiter charts, but you are a secretary somewhere out in the universe. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Do you work out in the 3D workspace? You're a secretary in some shape, form, or fashion, but heard you, your workplace has, it sounds like it's been up in shambles, but it's now it's more up in shambles. So it's gotten worse, not better. Um, I heard you're about to call a cor the corporate compliance hotline. So you work in a corporate entity somewhere as a secretary, whoever you are. Um, and no, it's going to be very effective. You're about to provide very important information. And know it's about to be very, very effective. You're about to provide very important information. So you, Taurus Secretary, know this phone call and whatever information you're about to provide to this corporate compliance hotline, you're a current employee there, I feel. Um, it's about to it's about to help. It's about to create change, whether you think it is or not. Um, I don't blame you. I, I heard it was already a hot mess, and now it's more of a hot mess. Well, you, I mean, you come into the hot mess, you want it to get better, not worse. This has gotten worse. So, yeah, I don't blame you. Not at all. Horseshoe, good luck. A thief is about to be exposed. Some, a Taurus has been stolen from. Okay, I heard a thief is about to be exposed. Uh, for one of you guys, you've been stolen from. So, good luck where some kind of thief is about to be exposed. For one of you guys, you've been stolen from. So, the good luck in this energy is, in this instance, is the thief about to be exposed that stole from you. Um, and for hopefully you get your friggin' money back. Um, I'm just saying, just saying, whoever that's for, congrats. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It's about to be, um, through many series of chain events. And the good luck, good luck token from a grandchild is about to become very lucky in a Taurus's life. And a good luck token from a grandchild is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. So some kind of good luck token from a grandchild. Um, you have a grandchild, if this resonates from you, for you, it's either your grandchild or somebody else's grandchild, however that resonates, Taurus. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's your grandchild, but you plug it in how it resonates. But it's some kind of good luck token from a grandchild, a masculine or feminine grandchild, whether it's your grandchild or somebody else's grandchild, heard it's actually going to become very lucky in your life. So good luck energy, it's actually going to really become very lucky maybe you bless it um or you get somebody to bless it um that's really beautiful said and well i think this is the recovered money from the tours that was stole from um whoever that's for a significant call from a, a lawyer soon they want information, high vibrational lawyer, you are a high vibrational being. They want information on someone you grew up with. It is one of their clients. You know this person you grew up with has been sold from in a huge way. You're about to help them out in a huge way, a huge way. Well, that's a good one. So if this resonates for you, you're high vibrational and the lawyer that's about to call you is high vibrational. 
um, however this resonates and applies to us. Your high vibrational and the lawyer that's about to call you is high vibrational. Um, whoever you are, Taurus. I didn't hear a sign on the lawyer, but I heard you know this person that you grew up with from the past. They have been sold from a huge way. Um, and I think this person you grew up with in the past, I think they're high vibrational too because, and I say that because, you know they've been stole from. Obviously, they didn't go out and commit crime or crimes to try to get their money back. So, um, that's, saying, that's saying something. Restraining self-control is saying something in itself. Um, not going out and harming person, people, place, or thing to get your money back when you know you've been stole from. Um, that's maturity. And restraint and control. So I, that's exactly why I think they're high vibrational. They haven't committed crime or crimes to get it back, but yet crime or crimes were committed to them to steal it from. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's the truth. So I absolutely feel they're high vibrational. But I heard this lawyer, high vibrational lawyer, is about to call you to get information on your person that you went to school with. Uh, of your past. It could be college, it could be elementary, middle, high, etc, 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 technical school, etc, etc. Um, so it sounds like it's very important to be honest with this person. Obviously, it's always important to be honest in those kind of situations, but um, it sounds like you being honest with this person is about to create a series of chain of events to help them get their money back. Set them well, and I'm just being real. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Number 11 could be very significant in one's life. Number 11, um, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 11. This high vibrational Taurus is about to really, really help out in a huge way the person of their past. This high vibrational Taurus is about to really help out in a huge way this person of their past. So I think you had positive connections with this person in your past. Um, I do. Um, whoever you are, Taurus, I heard you're high vibrational. I think they're high vibrational. I think you might have been in the past too. Um, it doesn't sound like y'all were hard knocks or gang members or cult members. It sounds like you were upstanding members of your community. Um, and you know this person was stole from, but yet you didn't, you don't see them out there with a gun trying to shoot people down, mow people down to get their money back. You don't see them trying to go steal it back. It, it sounds like you see them live their life in poverty or impoverished because somebody stole money from them that's not a way somebody should have to live their life especially when their money was stolen from them you know and i think you are highly intuitive and you know this so you plug it in how it resonates for us if that resonates for you Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur in many, many Taurus's life soon. It's about to go fast, 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 fast. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur in many Taurus's life. Things are about to go fast, 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 fast. So eight of wands with the five, five, five energy. Fast. He's going off, off the chain. It's just me and the two kitties here. He's confirmations galore, just saying. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped and I'm staying.